Tonight, fallout from our Target 12 undercover investigation out in the cold. Last night, we revealed a state worker was spending hours at home on the taxpayer's dime. Now we're learning the state has launched its own investigation. Target 12 investigator Tim White here now with that part of the story. Tim, we're hearing swift action was taken. What can you tell us? Well, I talked to a spokesperson with the Department of Human Services, and he confirms that they have launched an investigation into our findings. Now, the worker we followed has many responsibilities. The most important is inspecting heating systems in the homes of low-income Rhode Islanders to make sure they're safe. Acting on one of your tips, Target 12 went undercover, monitoring the movements of Dennis Lopes, a senior resource specialist with the state's weatherization assistance program. Over a month of surveillance, we often found Lopes at home while official time card show he's on the clock. On several occasions, we found the state car parked behind his house. Then in the late afternoon, he would drive the state car from his backyard over his front lawn to park it in his driveway. Commonly around the same time every day, 3.30, when his time card show, his day is done. Well, we're just trying to figure out why you would park your state vehicle behind your house when you're on the clock and then around quitting time, pull it around front. Uh, if I'm on the clock, I'm not at back of my house. His daily log, telling supervisors where he is and when, often conflicted with our surveillance. For instance, on this day, we found him at home, but his log says he's working at his Providence office. At approximately three. Lopes' supervisor, Deb Antha, says they have systems in place to monitor workers. So we will put in as many measures as possible to ensure that the job is being done correctly. According to records, Rhode Island received a whopping $20.1 million for the weatherization program as part of the stimulus in 2009. Antha says they far surpassed their goals of weatherizing 2,500 homes during that time. Actually, Rhode Island was a leader in those efforts to provide uh, and weatherization services. The program receives far less funding now, getting $4.2 million last year from federal tax dollars and $2.7 million through a surcharge on national grid electric bills paid for by ratepayers. And again, we've learned the Department of Human Services has launched an investigation into our findings. Mike, Susan, I asked if they're taking any action on the worker while this probe is ongoing, and they tell me they cannot comment on personnel matters. All right, some big developments. Thank you, Tim. Also,